The DBT staff team has transformed our department, enhancing research and learning experiences. With the DBT Star Scheme funding, we have got cutting edge equipment including cooling centrifuge for efficient sample processing, Biorad Agros Gel Electrophoretic Apparatus for advanced DNA analysis, Laminar Airflow Chamber for sterile experimentation. and shaker incubator for optimal cell growth. Attending DBT's tasking funded workshop broadened our understanding of biotechnology applications. With the help of DBT's tasking, we got the opportunity to visit industries, research laboratories, and participate in hands-on training programs. The DBT STAR scheme has significantly enhanced our college's biotechnology education and research. We are extremely grateful for this support and committed to nurturing the next generation of scientists. We, the Department of Zoology, presents the laboratory equipment funded by DBT STAR for the past few years. Through their help, we could explore experimental apertures provided by them. Let's see a few of the demonstrations. This is burette and it is used to measure volume of liquids which is used in chemical titration. It is a monocular microscope which is used to magnify the small object. It consists of three objective lenses and it is a fine and coarse adjustment. We place slide under the objective lens and adjust the stage distance and observe through the eyepiece. This is a distillation unit and it is used to filter water. As the water moves it heated up and it is condensed through this coil and collected in this beaker. Coloring meter. This is a device used to measure the absorbance of a particular wavelength of light through a particular solution. This instrument is known as Camera Lucida. It is used to draw microscopic images. This is the binocular microscope. It has a 360 degree rotatable binocular head. It is so called because it has two adjustable eye pieces in it. This is the fine and coarse adjustment. Here we can see three objective lenses. We place the slide under these objective lens and then adjust the slide distance using the fine course adjustment and observe through the eyepiece. This is pH meter. It is used to measure hydrogen ion concentration in the solution. is a device used to measure dimensions of microscopic object. This is hemometer or hemoglobinometer. This device is used to measure the amount of hemoglobin present in the blood sample. This is the analytical weighing machine. This is used to measure the weight of the samples. Experiments are the most basic tools in the physics student's journey. We have been providing proper funds by DBT for the last two years. For accurate measurements, we need proper equipment. But the funds provided by DBT staff for the last two years help us to access the latest equipments that are available in the market today.
this opportunity to be in the field of BBC staff funding. So we received many seminars and workshops as we got some more skills of it. And also we received many industrial visits. So it extends our potential to make more knowledge. receive a DBT staff fund and using that we get that uh, really interesting and uh, resourceful industrial visit. <laughs> Our college has conducted hands-on training on digital circuits and Python programming. And uh, by the aid of uh, this DBT staff fund, the facilities of a lab are enhanced with the new instruments such as uh, function generator, um, DSO, etc. And the students have got opportunity to visit research institutions such as uh, research institutions and the industries. Thank you to DBT staff for funding our college, Srinarana College Color. Greetings to all. I am honored to share the remarkable benefits we have gained from the DBT Star Scheme, which has immensely contributed to our learning experiences in the Department of Botany. Thanks to the funding, we participated in the hands-on training with advanced instruments like the laminar airflow for the tissue culture. Our CEPCI internship focused on phytochemical analysis where the resource person explained each process in detail, making complex topics easily understandable. Our seniors too enjoyed wonderful opportunities through the DBT Star Scheme, benefiting from similar experiences and workshops. The herbarium workshop allowed us to see techniques directly demonstrated by experts, while the plant taxonomy workshop taught us how to create botanical illustrations, a skill that will stay with us throughout our academic journey. We had also trip and experience made possible only due to DBT star support. It provided us with real world exposure to plant exploration. Moreover, Various seminars and workshops from entrepreneurship development to nanotechnology broadened our horizons and strengthened our practical skills. These activities coupled with faculty and student training in microbiology and phytochemical methods have truly shaped us into better scholars and aspiring researchers. We sincerely thank the DBT Star Scheme for these invaluable experiences that have empowered us to excel not only in our studies but in our future careers as well. Thank you. Myself, Mani, I am second year basic chemistry student of Srinarana College Kalam. First of all, let me thank the Department of Biotechnology for including our college under the scheme of DBT Star College Scheme. Our department has organized seven national seminars, eight training programs and one invited talk under the scheme. We, all this provide us a chance to interact with the peers and professions in various fields. And all this, we could also access to several lab, modern labs and resources in reputed field. Myself, Helena Sara Thomas, third year BSc chemistry student, also got an opportunity to involve in hands-on training on various instruments and workshops that help to mold our laboratory skills in us and also erode research interest in us. Instruments and chemicals from DBT star enabled us to complete our project works and laboratory experiments on time. Once again, we thank DBT. <laughs>